everyone, welcome back to the vlogs. I'm currently in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, so I apologise for the traffic around me. But I wanted to say hello and start the vlog. So yesterday I was just low energy and tired, so I didn't vlog, but we went to the Genocide Museum. Yes, yeah, so we did that yesterday, we relaxed a bit, got some work done, did lots of different things. But anyway, I'm vlogging today. We've just walked past somebody who was feeding about 200 pigeons outside her house. I'm going to leave that video on screen so you can see that. Um, it was crazy. But we are now walking, just kind of walking down the street and I saw a big building and I was like, oh, is that a market? And Joe was like, yeah, I actually have it on my list. So we're going to go in there. So all of this to say, hi, welcome to the vlog. We're about to go in the market. We also need to get some food. We want to have a walk around and then also stop somewhere, probably at a cafe Amazon or Amazon Cafe, I can't remember which way around it is, and get some work done. So we have our laptops with us so we can work as well. So I want to say hi and let's go and explore this market and see what it's like. You know I love a good market, so let's go and see what this one's like. Okay, so this is the market that we're going to. On Google Maps, it didn't actually say it was a market, it's just like a building with a cross. So I'm kind of interested to see what it's like inside. It's like a big dome. Massive. Yeah, it looks massive. I think they've got four, is it like four sections coming up it? So it'll be interesting to see the inside. There's also markets on the outside as well. So I think there's going to be a lot to see in here. Okay, so this is the main entrance. There's like clothes and shoes and things on the outside. So it'll be interesting to see if there's food or... It's much more organizing, didn't it? Yeah, way more organized. <laughs> There's way more space, there's loads more space to walk, which we're not used to. Okay, so this is the market, oh my goodness. Look at that. So I think there's, yeah, there's four different like tunnels almost. There's a tunnel, there's a tunnel, there's a tunnel. Oh, five even, no four. And that's just where we came in. So it'd be interesting to look down each of them, see what they have. Looks like there's some traditional clothing there. Oh. This is exciting. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to go down each one just to kind of see what they have. So this one looks like clothing, there's also some souvenir things. This is the backpacker uniform, anything with elephants on. <laughs> this is the backpacker uniform. Look at these tiny pineapples. That is so cute, it's tiny. They've also got um, passion fruit, which I've not tried one since being here, but I do quite like them every now and then. Anyway, so we've come to the end of that first section, so there's food here. I can smell fish, so I don't know where the fish is coming from, but I can smell it. There's the hairdressers there. Oh, there's two actually. So this is the fish I could smell. This seems to be like the food section. fish and chicken and more fish. So something I will say is that all the fruit and veg here is so fresh and crisp and gorgeous. I mean look at those carrots. So they just look incredible and also cucumbers are tiny here. These are cucumbers. She's asleep. <laughs> okay, we have chicken feet. Some crabs. Okay, we've come to the fish section. Look at this guy. And then these ones are upside down, so they're not doing so well. There's eels. And then there's this guy. I literally cannot tell you how big that is. That's regular big crabs. Okay, that's like a regular big crab. This guy is a fucking giant. I've oh never seen that. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never seen a crab. I mean, even this guy is big. This guy is a big boy. But that. Oh my goodness. Look at these oysters, they're huge. There's so much fish. Look at those as well them and then this one it's interesting sometimes the fish is not cold like there and then wow look at them salmon mm. oh turtles Jeremy they're turtles aren't they 
they're turtles. Okay, less of that. Anyway, I was going to say there's loads of fish that is like on ice. Yeah, they're alive, I right know. Um, there's loads of fish on ice as well, which is cool. I thought it was chopped in half, but he's not. No, it's full. He's full. Um, but there is salmon, which I will tell you, if I see salmon anywhere on the menu, I will get it, because I do miss that. I love eating salmon. Oh, I bloody love a market. <laughs> Who knows what these fish are? Please let me know. One, two, three. Because I don't think I've seen them before. That one's almost got a beak. And that one's like got a flat face. So let me know if you know. Those like the blue crabs, mm. you can see they're very blue here. Yeah. Um, it's like an invasive species. Oh. They were usually in very hot country like here or in like Africa and stuff like that. Yeah. And because of global warming, because everything is getting warmer, they, they can travel like hundreds of miles of very strong creatures. Yeah. They are invading all the French coast at the moment. Mm. But they are like an invasive species, they kill everything else and just take over. Oh. So like people are trying to catch them in France at the moment, but they're not catching them fast enough because they reproduce at a stupid rate. Yeah, okay. Um, but apparently they're delicious. Apparently they're extremely tasty crabs to eat. And it's kind of good to eat them because it's invading the world at the moment and it's destroying, killing all the other fish and everything else. Yeah, it's good to get rid of them. Yeah. Um, have you noticed these guys? They're fucking huge. And these are huge as well. They're so big, the poor ones. They've got chickens in a cage. They've got crabs. And then it seems like there's even more market there. I'm not sure if that's the same building. Oh my god. Oh, it's the next section, yeah it is. So more fish, more fish. Oh yeah, these are blue. And look at these crabs. Like some of the blue ones, but those ones are there. And those huge shells there. It's fascinating. There's just a tub of octopus, which I don't love. It's funny how I get like attached to certain fish and then not others. So octopus I don't love seeing, turtles I don't love seeing. But yeah, it is interesting. Look at these things. What the heck is that? Please let me know, this is number four. <laughs> this white shell thing. Actual no idea. Have you ever seen that before? Yeah. I think it's just... It seems to be in the Look at these. I've never seen a market like this. And then there's one of these huge crabs again, which I wanted to come over and see. Oh my goodness. He's huge. So I've just found the meat section. There's meat hanging there. There's somebody chopping some there. So we've now found the food section where you can sit down and have some food like cooked fresh for you. So I don't know if we're going to do that or keep looking around, but there is this here as well, which is nice. So this one's got fish and it's got a little barbecue here where it's actually cooking the fish, which I like that. I like when it's fresh. Okay, so we have stopped for food. I really hope you can hear me because we're kind of in the food hall area. So there's a lot of people here. But we went somewhere and we've asked for noodles with seafood. I'm hoping the seafood is going to be nice and fresh since they're in the market. And Jeremy was saying it was like $3.75 for this meal, which for other meals we've been paying like $1, $2 maximum. So to pay almost double is a lot of money. So I'm really hoping it's good. I'm really hoping the seafood is fresh. But I was saying to Jeremy this morning that like the food in Vietnam, every single meal, I was like, oh, this is insane. It tastes it. like it just always tasted so good. And I've not had that yet here in Cambodia, which is a shame. The food is just being like, it's all right. The rice has not been great. It's not been particularly warm. It's not been particularly flavorsome. 
so I'm really excited for this. I, even though it's twice the price, I really hope it's going to be delicious. So I'll have to let you know. But I bloody love a good market. I don't love seeing the turtles. I don't love seeing the octopus. But otherwise, I love it. Okay, so this is the food that's arrived. It's noodles with seafood and egg. I'm pretty sure that's going to be spicy sauce, so I don't think I'll be having that, but... It looks good. Yummy. So we are on our way to leave the market and I wanted to show you these more traditional kind of clothes, dresses and dragons and things like that. We also just walked past tasers, cameras, lights, lots of different things. So you could literally come here and find anything. Gucci, The North Face, Hard Rock Cafe, elephants, <laughs> more elephants. This is such like backpacker outfit. Wow, nice suits. So we're going to a wedding in um, March in Australia and rather than ship things over from France, we're thinking about going to a market in Thailand and finding something like this that I can just buy wear for the day and then give to a charity shop or something so I think that'd be a lot cheaper and easier I'm trying to ship things but there's lots of things like this so I'm hoping we'll find something similar in Thailand that pink one's cute so we decided to walk to a temple which was next to the market We've got here and it's closed, which is a little bit of a shame because it does look beautiful. So I'm going to show you from the outside anyway. Maybe we'll come back another day. I don't know. We'll see. But that's a shame. So they've got these on the outside. There's one either side. And these are the incredible gates. And there, you can just see how beautiful that building is. It looks quite large as well. There's a building there. There's also a Buddha statue there. Um, so that's a shame, never mind. Okay, so this is where we are. It's the Mong, Col Mong Colvin. <laughs> I'm probably botching that monastery. And we came to the side and it's open. So we're gonna have a little bit of an explore until someone tells us that we're not allowed to be in here. Um, so this is exciting. So I've set the dogs off barking, so I apologise, but there's a gorgeous big Buddha here, which is huge. I might get a picture next to that for my um, vlog, kind of YouTube cover, that's what I'm looking for. Look at the dragons on the top there. Look how colourful these are. They are so beautiful, the bright blue and turquoise and gold and red and... They are so pretty. Oh, I love that colour as well. Obviously, that's like my colour. So the gate that was closed is behind there. This one on the right is open and also that one. No, not that one. There's one over there that was open as well. So I think we are allowed to be in here. I just noticed the two men there sitting down. <laughs> it's lovely though. These dogs just keep barking, so I apologise. But I just want to show you these first. Um, we finally googled what this meant I don't remember <laughs> like even everything's painted even the columns of the stairs the snakes on each stairs as well it's this gorgeous whatever yellow orange tone that is I absolutely love it it's so just so beautiful and it's something that isn't particularly on the map, it's not talked about by tourists, you know, it's something that would just happen to walk by. Stunning. So this is the front where we were earlier, when we were looking through the gate, so it's nice to see it up close and personal. It's interesting there's these statues around, so there's this man with a book, there's a woman with a book, there's the snakes again, there's the decorated stairs. I also particularly love these kind of decorations around the doors, it's so incredible. There's also a monk over there, like a statue of monk. And then there's somebody giving somebody a piggyback there, which I don't understand the reference of that one, but I also want to see the inside of this because I think that roof is going to be stunning. Yeah. 
So it's starting to rain. Luckily, we both brought our rain jackets because we knew that was going to happen. But we're now going to walk pretty quickly <laughs> to a. I don't know if it's Cafe Amazon or Amazon Cafe either way. We're going to walk to one of those and um, get some work done basically. Oh, the dogs again. <laughs> so we need to um, quickly run to the cafe to get us work done and also hide from the rain before it like really shits it down. And before we leave, Jeremy just pointed this one out to me so there you can see a tuk tuk and there's a man there. I'm trying not to film him, but just so you can see the size. And there's this huge Buddha there. Right, I've put my rain jacket on. Jeremy's putting, well, he's finding his now so we can go and run and escape from the rain. But look at that roof. I might have to come back here with my camera someday.